Hey guys, back with yet another PC hookup. This one from the one and only Todd Burlingame. Another big stack of Giants cards here. I've said it before, but you guys here on YouTube have like tripled my Giants PC in the time I've been on here. Really appreciate it. Starting out with some old school guys. Van Pelt, Ray Rhodes. Big mix of stuff here, so I pre-sorted some of it by player. A stack of LT stuff here. He's one of those guys, if you're a Giants fan, you can never have too many LT cards. This one's cool with that refractor shine to it. Collector books. Fleer hitters. And one from this year's Limited. Got a couple of these Landon Collins cards from Playoff. The base and the blue foil. And the Landon Collins banner season insert. Nice Victor Cruz from Contenders. I don't think he really stuck with anybody last year, so he might be done. Some more old school guys. I've considered sending some of these old school Giants cards for TTMs. I think some of the old football guys have a pretty good success rate, but I gotta check exactly who signs. A stack of Phil Sims here. He's another guy. If you're a Giants fan, you can never have too many Phil Sims cards. That's a cool one there from 2013 Tops. That's kind of a vintage look to it. Here's an actual older one from 89. And a collector books of him. Got a couple of Jeremy Shockeys in his Miami Hurricanes uniform. Nice tops chrome Ryan Nassib. Drafted him at a Syracuse. I don't think he ever even played like one quarter. Nice action-packed rookie of Ed McCaffrey. Three-time Super Bowl champion. Once with the Giants. Two with the Broncos. A couple old-school running backs here. Otis Anderson and Joe Morris. Really like the look of those old-school thousand-yard club cards. Nice Andre Williams. Seems like I mention it every Giants video, but Andre Williams had a lot of nice cards. Gonna have to do like a Andre Williams showcase at some point so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And here he is again. Rookie of the year contenders. And he might still have a shot with somebody. Was with the Chargers last year, but missed a chunk of the season with a broken wrist. Got some Eli Apple rookies. So far it looks like they're gonna hang on to him. Unless they pull another big trade before the draft. A couple of his Optic rookies. And his Prism rookie. Some Odell stuff. Like I said, they appear to be taking offers on him. Or at least that's the message they're putting out there. Maybe they're just trying to motivate him for next year. Or maybe they just kind of want to see what they can get. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they do trade him because this new front office has proven that they're not afraid to make some moves. Here's a guy I'm surprised is still here, Brandon Marshall. And Brandon Marshall Optic. Again, I'd be surprised if he's still here by the start of next year, but either way, I'll still always keep his Giants cards. Now we got some Eli, who many thought would not be back after all the stuff that went down last year. But it's looking like he's coming back for at least one more year. And there you go. There he is during happier times. That was during the first Super Bowl that he won. We got a few from this year's Optic. And one from last year's Optic. I was actually just talking to uh, Rated R Sports Cards about how I like last year's Optic Design a little bit better. 
but both pretty cool. Nice shiny one from Unparalleled. That one's called Rainbow Spokes. See, I like that when they put the, the parallel name up there. I feel like Select and Prism should also do that. Here's one from Playoff, which I mentioned before I kind of like. I liked it in 2016 and 2017. They pretty much used the same design both of those years. Here's another Playoff, Michael Strahan. You got a stray hand from Classics. And closing it out with a couple top loaded stray hand cards. Nice Immortals insert, number to $9.99. I have a few different color variations on this. Wonder how many they have in total. Gonna have to check that out. And here's another nice one from Phoenix. Guess that's like the gold or yellow parallel. Number to 75. Again, really nice. So thanks so much, Todd. That was a very nice, completely out of nowhere hookup. I had no idea he was going to send me something. So very much appreciated. And I'm sure most everybody on here already knows Todd. He's such a popular member of this community. But actually, I do have a few new subscribers. So if any of you don't know Todd, go take a look at his channel. If you just watch a few of his videos, you'll see that he's as good as it gets here in the community. Very genuine guy. Great friend to many of us on here. So I'll leave a link to his channel. And thanks again, Todd. And I'll be back with more stuff soon.